breaking stories that are coming from Tamil Nadu. This one in connection with the fact where uh, Chief Minister M.K. Stalin has written a letter to Prime Minister requesting to direct the MEA to secure the release of 16 Indian fishermen and their vessel from uh, Diego Garcia of British Indian Ocean Territory. That's what we know so far. In fact, in that particular letter, uh, what we know is that uh, he has written uh, in terms of this incident that while they were fishing in the deep sea waters on the 23rd of February this year, they were apprehended by the authorities in the Diego Garcia of the British Indian Ocean Territory, better known as the BIOT. My colleague Shri Prapan joins me live on the broadcast for more details on this. Uh, Shri Prapan, um, good evening. Of course, we are learning that Stalin has written to the Prime Minister on the arrest of fishermen. Can you tell us more about this and also the incident that has been referred to in this particular letter? Now, this particular uh, boat, fishing boat, uh, went for a deep sea fishing on uh, 9th of February and it had that, uh, in fact, people from Tamil Nadu, Kerala, as well as West Bengal. Six fishermen were from Tamil Nadu and three fishermen were from West Bengal and seven fishermen from Kerala. So they had gone on a fishing on 9th of February, subsequently on 23rd during the deep sea fishing near the, in fact, uh, uh, the British Indian Ocean Territory in Diago Garcia. They were apprehended. So now we could see the Tamil Nadu Chief Minister has written a letter to the Prime Minister asking uh, to direct MEA to secure the release of 15 Indian fishermen. And uh, in fact, they were told that the, uh, the fine that were to be given to the Diego Garcia uh, authorities was too huge and the boat owner was not able to uh, pay the fine. And that is the reason they opposed the state government. And in turn, we could see that the state government has sought the help of the uh, uh, central government over here. Right, Shri Prabhan, thank you very much for joining us on the broadcast and getting us the inputs on this breaking story. We're going to keep a close eye on that one on Mirror now.